Hey, Gemini's, it's the Sun Sage back to do another July reading for you guys. This will be mostly for the end of July um, energies before we head into August. So we are going to see what's coming in or what's going on around you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking the videos, subscribing to the channel, participating in the polls and the comments. I appreciate the support. All right, Gemini. So we're going to see what's going on for you guys, what's coming in. Um, I am. Yeah, let me get some uh, general messages first for you guys. Okay, I do personal reading. So if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, just make sure you check out the details in the description box. All right. So Gemini's, let's get into it. What do we have? Blocked. Somebody is blocked. Okay. <laughs> Somebody can't get, reach you. Turned off. Phones turned off. Notifications are turned off. You block somebody out, Gemini's. And we have love out loud. Um, similar, I think, to Scorpio. You don't want it unless they're going to love you out loud, unless they're going to be professing their love for you and making it clear that you are their person and that um, you are the person that they want to be with. And I am going to get a general sort of uh, blunt message from the Rebel deck. Um Let's see what comes out. These messages can be off the chain sometimes, so we'll see. All right, what do we have? Stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up. You're missing some cool shit. So I feel like this is just a general message for you guys. Um, I do feel like somebody has been feeling a little depressed. Okay, so I'll just throw that out there. Um, you guys are holding on to something that somebody did to you. Okay, um, and you, I feel like you've blocked this person out the best way that you can, but their memory still creeps up on you. How they treated you could still play, replay in your mind. So sometimes to take the pain away, people sleep, to avoid things that you need to address. Um, you spend a lot of time in the bed and I feel like there's something here where it's like, um, you've already sort of done all you can do now it's time to be kind to yourself and and move on or or find a way through this okay gemini so let's see what comes out for you let's see what comes out the queen of wands tap into your queen of wands energy aries also leo sagittarius we have yet yeah, two of pentacles i mean yeah two of wheels or two of pentacles all right, we have a Ten of Wands here for you, Geminis. Um, we have an Ace of Wheels. What else do we have? A Devil. <laughs> the Devil, but yeah, Capricorn Energy. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which is interesting. Um, I do feel like you guys... I feel like a part of you not really being able to fully heal or get over something right now is because you still want to be with this person. Okay. You still see hope in this person. Um, even though the circumstances have gotten really sort of burdensome. Okay. I feel like this queen of wands is representing you. All right. You're tapped into, um, your divine self as a queen of wands. Even if you're a masculine energy, you're taking pride in your, how you present yourself and your image and how you look. Some of you are trying to make sure this person sees you, even if you block them, even if you turn off the notifications. For some of you, I am getting the message that you are blocked. Okay. This person has blocked you. And so if you've reached out to them, they can't get your message. They turned off notifications or something here. Somebody's blocked. So this queen of wands is your pride, right? You can't let this get you down, at least uh, image wise, right? You're still showing up as a sexy person, four of swords here. Um, I feel like a lot of you, this is the way that you heal. This is, this is a part of it. By making sure you continue to take care of yourself and look good. Um, when you look good on the outside, you feel good on the inside. That sort of method of getting through this. I feel like this is representing also that sleep. Okay. A lot of you are spending a lot of time sleeping. This will be for some of you because the emotions are far too overwhelming to deal with. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, overwhelmed, imbalanced. 
needing to adapt to this change of, of, of this change in your life that I feel like you're having right now. So you've had a lot of time to think about your situation with this person. There could be a Capricorn here. Um, what's this uh, Four of Swords for Gemini's? Um, mm, lovers. Okay. So I do feel like you guys are at a crossroads. You are trying to figure out if this person is the person for you. Two of Cups. Some of you have already received your answer some type of confirmation that this is your person, right? Because you feel so strongly for them. They feel so strongly for you. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck, again, representing that you're not ready to completely give up on this relationship just yet. Um, as we see here in this lover's image, we had two lovers and then we have someone up top sort of manipulating things or could be seen as manipulating things. We also have like green pastures over here with, with a snake and then we have fire over here. So this is that overwhelmed energy that you're feeling. No matter what decision you make, it feels like there's going to be, it's, it's kind of like how love works. It doesn't matter what you do. There's a risk, right? If you leave this person alone, there's a risk that you are going to be forfeiting a soulmate connection. If you stay with this person, there's a chance that this person can hurt you in some way. So you guys, that's, you're overwhelmed right now by decisions, especially about this person in particular right now, Gemini's, um, I don't feel like you're ready to be over them, but there are some red flags here. This person is keeping secrets, high priestess. This person also is um, playing mind games, eight of swords. So you don't know what to make of this situation or what to make of them. Um, Pisces energy here. I do feel like um, you, you think a lot about this person. That's part of it. Um, you can't get them off of your mind, out of your subconscious. You dream about this person. You have nightmares for some of you about this situation. It's, begun, it's gotten to that level, right? Where it's just impacting your life when you're awake and when you're asleep. So you want to try to figure out what this is or get some, some sort of explanation or closure with this person, right? Two of Pentacles. This is about adapting to this situation and trying to deal with it as best you can, but still being a little overwhelmed. The Eight of Swords actually comes out to confirm this Two of Wheels. This person has been playing with your head. Okay. So I feel like if you're wanting clarity or some sort of um, truth from this person, you're not going to get it because it's more beneficial to them. We do have double energy over here. It is more beneficial to them to sort of manipulate this situation, the two they're liking with you. Okay. So the eight of swords is that you still feeling stuck and trapped in your head. Um, you can make a decision, but you feel like you need them to sort of show you something or tell you something to make a clearer decision. And that's the first problem. They are in control when that happens. Right. Um, I used to tell a friend like, you don't need closure, <laughs> okay? Yes, it would be great to hear somebody say, I I screwed up, I shouldn't have done this, I, I, I shouldn't have did this. However, you're not gonna always get that from people. And so closure is a lie. It keeps us in this mindset that I'm going to wait for this person to come back before I make a decision. And that's exactly what it feels like is happening. You are gonna wait for this person to make a decision on whether they wanna be with you or whether they choose you before you decide to move forward, right? That's keeping you in the dark. Um, if a person knows that they have that control too, they could be in love with somebody and with somebody and they may not give you closure because they want you to still be there if it doesn't work out with the person. They're just not going to tell you that they're with the person or that, you know, things are going well. Just when things don't go right, they may circle back to you. So that won't be all Gemini's in this situation. This also feels very specific. A lot of the readings have been sort of towards these specific sort of collective connections. But I feel like this person plays mind games because they can. And it confuses you about their feelings for you. Three of Wands. Okay. This is looking ahead. Okay, Gemini's, this is looking ahead, looking at your future. What do you want for yourself? Not leaving it to this person to sort of 
make the choice. All right. I think it's very insulting for us to believe that somebody needs to make up their mind about us because if their mind isn't made, most likely you need to take control and make it for them and move right along. Right. Your ships are coming in. But also this is that energy of waiting. OK, sort of waiting for this person to make a decision. You're leaving it up to them which is they're not the type of person you want to leave this up to. All right. Three of wands, five of pentacles. This is why, because they're going to leave you hanging every single time. They're going to do what they want to do and leave you out in the cold. So you're connecting to somebody who's very selfish. All right. I don't know who has who blocked, but something is telling me the person who wants the relationship the most is the person that is blocked. All right. And that could be for this person's own self-preservation, um, if they're in a relationship and they are, you know, trying to get back in the good graces of someone, they have told this person, I'm going to block Gemini or I'm, I blocked this person so that it's not going to interfere with us. Just be mindful. This person has no problem leaving you hanging, leaving you out in the cold, right? Leaving you to sort of hang on to this burden of this connection. Um, while they're being sort of, I don't even want to say indecisive. I feel like they've made their choice. King of Cups. Um, I feel, and then we have the devil again. Somebody here is saying, I just want them to love me. All right, Geminis, some of you want so desperately to be loved by this person that you see as a king because they've already shown you soft moments and gentle moments and tender moments. And you want it to be full time. You want it to be true that they love you, that they have true feelings for you. For a lot of you, they do genuinely care in that King of Cups energy. But the King of Cups also understands their feelings, okay? And they also make mature decisions about their feelings. This person is a little bit um, emotionally manipulative because they can be. There's somebody here that this person may have already decided on, um, but they they feed off of you still wanting them. Again, just in case it doesn't work out with that person, Ace of Cups, they can come back around and offer you new love or they can say, let's try this again. So just be mindful. I feel like you want so desperately for this person to love you. I'm for a divine energy. Also controlling, okay? This person can be very controlling. The devil has shown up twice. The emperor is here. They are a control freak. OK, they may feel like you are easy to control, Gemini. So just be mindful. You don't even have to be easy to control. But if this person's perception is that they're going to move like that. All right. Ten of Wands. What's this Ten of Wands for Gemini situation? Death, Scorpio energy. It's almost like you're still carrying the torch for this relationship, even though there's been some sort of indication that it could be over. That's you or your person carrying the torch for this connection, sort of dragging it out, even though it's over nine of swords. Not this is more not being able to sleep nightmares. Um, there's codependency here for sure. There's codependency here in this connection. Gemini's you felt like this was your twin. So. To be without them or the prospect of not having them as in your life is very overwhelming for you emotionally, mentally, physically. It's like you're almost like, how am I going to get through this? All right. How am I going to do this? Some of you are very depressed right now. This is nine of swords with this death. You're having a hard time dealing with this ending. This is king of swords, um, Aquarius energy. We got a four of cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, This person still has some mental control over you. Even if they are not physically in your life at this time, their presence is such that it is, they are still able to sort of control how you feel about them or control what you think about them. You may even still respect them. I'm hearing someone having a conversation with their friends and going, I mean, if you just told me the truth, I would respect that. Why? This person doesn't feel like they deserve respect. King of Swords, Aquarius, Energy, Emperor. They demand it, though. That's why. They're just such a demanding person. Page of Wands. 
they're such a demanding person. For a lot of you Geminis, I do feel like some of you, this person has told you the truth. All right. I feel like a lot of them have said, Gemini, I'm attracted to you. I was interested. What's this? I feel a butt. What's this page of wands? What's this butt? Three of pentacles. I'm spreading myself too thin. I had to make a decision for of cups. One situation or one person was more stimulating than the other or something like that. I feel like their truth has even been harsh at times um, with this person. So just be mindful. Aries, Aquarius showing up. Um, Three of Pentacles. This is typically about building something, right? And showing up with the Page of Wands. I feel like they've been working on the right way to tell you something, to communicate a message to you. Um, you may have even had someone tell you what they were doing, right? The Eight of Wands keeps showing up at the bottom of the deck. And I'm trying not to say this is a social media thing, um, but something came into you really, really quickly, communication and I feel like this person is good at sort of manipulating that information. All right. Ace of Pentacles. So that four of cups, I feel is for you, Pisces, being careful not to miss out on an opportunity, even if this isn't about another lover right now. This is about the potential for something good to be coming back in your life. And look how this looks together. Right. If you have an ace of wheels or ace of pentacles, a chance at a new beginning and you choose to use that and go right back into a toxic situation. Well, the cycle continues. So I feel like there's an opportunity for here. A page of pentacles was just at the bottom of the deck. You're going to have to stay strong through this. OK, you want to be loved out loud. That message is coming through loud and clear. You don't want somebody who's going to hide you, who's going to have to be secretive about you. You want to be loved out loud. And this strength is like, OK, well, you're going to have to hang in there for the right person in the right relationship. And not compromise with this person anymore. Because I feel like you've compromised enough with them, um, Gemini. Um, what's this page of Pentacles? The Nine of Wands. Um, yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like this person has been very sort of clear about what's happening. And this is someone you should protect yourself from. All right. Um, this is representing, this is like a visual representing a representation of a blocked message. If you want to have a healthy start, a healthy new beginning, it's time to block this person's energy because they have a lot of control over you right now. It could be sexual, three of swords, but they've broken your heart too many times. All right. Um, Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, energy showing up. Um, We did have a King of Cups. This Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck is interesting. Um, it's almost like there's somebody here because it came out after this, after this Three of Swords. So it's almost like this is the card representation of this person has a Queen of Cups. What's this Three of Swords about for Gemini? This person has somebody that they've already committed to. Um, <laughs> Chariot Cancer, possibly a Cancer. Um, they're holding on. And you're holding on to, so they're holding on to their person and staying loyal to their person. And I feel like you're holding on to the hope of this connection still coming together there. They feel like they moved on and this is heartbreaking for you. Okay. So that Ace of Pentacles is that Queen of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles are the good messages here. And it's sort of like, Stay true to yourself, right? You want to be loved out loud? Wait for someone who's going to love you out loud, right? Move on. Don't hold on to this person. The devil. What's the devil here for? For Gemini's, the queen of swords. Yeah, this devil needs A, to be cursed out, <laughs> but they need you to be blunt with them, right? You can't, even if you have a soft spot for them or if they are somebody that you truly love, this person needs to hear how they how they treated you. All right, Knight of Cups. This person needs to hear um 
I'm getting the feeling that you guys are are going to, if this conversation is had, because I feel like this is a conversation, then we got this Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Gemini. I'm getting some of you are going to stay loyal to this person and just wait it out and see if it works out with him and this other person. Because this Knight of Cups with this Queen of Swords feels like you start off on the right track of telling them what they need to hear, this devil, and then you get into... um sort of reminding this person of what you guys feel when you're together. And then that too can be a form of manipulation, right? Because it tries to pull this person in with, um, you want to contradict a decision that they seemingly have already made. Like, are you sure you want to be with that person? Remember how I made you feel? That sort of type of manipulative, manipulative communication. So it could get to that point. What's this Knight of Cups? Um, two of Cups with a Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Be careful. You guys both do not speak your truth to each other. And that's part of the problem here. Yes, there are genuine feelings here, but there, this person, I feel like this person is consciously making a decision to invest in something else. What is this two of cups here for Gemini and their person? This is a situation that is um, dealing with codependency, temperance. Yeah. And the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck, even though I just shuffled. So yes, closure is a lie. You do need to heal, right? Some of you feel like having this person back is what will heal you, is what will help you, is what you feel like the 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 outcome should be you and this person ending up together. That feels like the outcome to you, right? And for some of you, it will be, right? Because this person, but they're, they're going to have to go on a journey first and kind of go through all their stuff and learning and inner seeking inner wisdom to sort of heal their own why they are the way that they are before they come back around to you a lot of you do still have hope like i said and still feel like this is your person and that you're going to be together so those queens that i saw were not lying you know that queen of pentacles about sticking beside this person and you know sort of just as overwhelming as it is for you making a decision to deal all right. And that won't be for every Gemini, but I'm getting a lot of that here. There's somebody here you're not ready to let go of. All right. What message? See, I know you love me. That's that Knight of Cups. Remember how we were? I know you love me. I feel like that's you and I respect you so much. What did I say? You still respect this person. All right. They may love you in their own sort of manipulative, controlling way. Of course. But I think respect is where you're, you respect this person. And I feel like their respect for you is very minimal. So just be mindful of that. Okay. Um, for some of you, Gemini's, this person respects you. And so that's why they don't want to, that's why they did want to end this so that they could not continue to put you through what you were going through. All right. So that is what I have for you, Gemini's. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. If you need a personal reading because this did not resonate with you, make sure you check out the details in the description box and I will talk to you guys soon.